It's Friday morning and I'm about to jump in the car. I'm going down to Wollongong because they're going to unveil some of the details of the World Championship Road Course for September 2022. So, it's exciting times. It'll be the second road cycling World Championship staged in Australia since 2010. Now that it's all about to be unveiled, it's really quite exciting. I have my suspicions on where the race will be taken and there's a wealth of interesting roads that could be selected and it should be a great showcase of a fantastic region, somewhere that's wonderful to ride a bike. I'm in charge of making sure that the riders will be safe uh, during the championships and making sure the course is up to a professional cyclist standards, um, which there'll be a lot of work to do before the championships, but uh, as we've heard today, the government, the councils, uh, the whole community behind the event, so it shouldn't be hard, but uh, a little bit of work to do before the championships. Just now, only four or five minutes ago, seeing the course details, not complete, but uh, we get an understanding of where the road race will begin, where it will finish. Are you um, tempted to make a comeback now that you know that it's a bit of a flat finish? I know it's a hilly course, but it's a flat finish. What, how, what's your estimation of the kind of rider who's going to win here? Look, as always, Rob, the, the World Championships are, are the toughest event every year. Uh, we may not see this course have the most metres of elevation out of World Championship courses, but I think uh, what we've seen today is the remote start in Helensburg, um, you know, a relatively flattish run in along the escarpment and the coastline uh, to Wollongong. We saw that we do Mount Kira loop, uh, which will of course include Mount Kira, uh, you know, up around 500 metres altitude. So, you know, it's not the Pyrenees or the Alps in Europe, um, but there's a little bit more elevation than Flanders this, uh, this year in the championships. And then onto the street circuit, uh, where we see the riders go over Mount Pleasant, which uh, will not be pleasant at all. Um, and a yeah, nice full flat downhill sprint finish uh, here behind me. So all in all, I don't think it's going to be a bunch sprint, but we will see a sprint for the victory. Okay. I, we haven't got the full details. I don't know how many laps up and down Kira they go, for example. But there's, there is, as you say, plenty of climbing. Um, I know when they were designing the course for, Wool for Geelong rather, that they wanted an uphill finish and they got that roughly um, in uh, Moorable Street and your good mate Tor Hushoft won. This time it's sort of, like you say, it's a false flat to a downhill finish. Is, are you surprised by that? Well, I think what we saw today is the, the final run into the finish line is along the coastline here, um, which it may be flat, but there's still some small lumps. It is false flat sprint downhill from the last turn, uh, so it'll be, it'll be a fast finish. Um, but uh, yeah, ultimately this kind of event, it comes down to the, the street circuit, the laps in the final, um, and the left and right turns, you know, the, the short steep climb of Mount Pleasant, uh, that's where the race is going to unfold and, and that's where the victory is going to come from. Now that you're allowed to speak with people, and I know you still have a lot of contact with people in Europe, what are you going to be telling your, your cohort over there? What sort of team are you going to bring? Uh, look, personally I'd love to see Caleb Ewan come here in, in top shape. Um, I think if he really tailors his training, uh, he's season around it, he has a good opportunity uh, to become world champion. He's going to have to climb, uh, he's going to have to climb better than he's ever climbed before but I think he needs to focus on that. You don't get an opportunity to win on your doorstep uh, that often. So he might have to change a little bit the rider he is in the back half of, of next season to, to make sure he can go over the climbs because we've seen Alaphilippe, he can win on different courses. So to see uh, you know, Alaphilippe and Caleb Ewan showdown, it's two totally different types of riders, but uh, I think it'll be that kind of rider that, uh, you know, that comes here to this course. It's exciting times. I know you know the area well. Are you a little bit surprised that it didn't turn up a little bit in the National Park, for example? 
Look, it's very hard to, to get all the features um, you know, that we have here in Wollongong and Sydney into the course. Uh, I pushed for Bathurst remote start. I don't see why they couldn't have started in Bathurst <laughs> and, and rode to Wollongong. Um, you know, it's less than 250 kilometres. Uh, so ultimately, yeah, we didn't use the National Park, but I think we've touched on all the, you know, the special features here in Wollongong, Mount Kira. Um, and starting in Helensburg is a great remote start. Uh, it does add those extra kilometres that you need for a world championship. Uh, so to see them you know, come here and finish with those uh, street circuits, it, it'll be an explosive race. If you're looking after safety, just one last question. The, the descent, uh, from my understanding, having had a quick look at the PowerPoint, is that it's going down Mount Kembla. That can be very, very fast. Have you got concerns about safety? Like, is there anything that stands out from your reconnaissance of the course? Look, yeah, safety will be paramount for the whole uh, the whole event. And as you mentioned, there's some, some nasty descents on the course out there. Uh, we'll do a lot of work over the next couple of months, especially with the UCI when they come out in the, the first uh, quarter of next year. They'll look at the course. Uh, we'll make sure it's safe. That's my job to make sure it's safe. And I come with a lot of experience. Uh, so I think the race will be will be safe, um, but ultimately, you know, riders can crash at any moment, uh, but it's up to the guys in the race. To have a safe race, I can only give them the best uh, course possible. We'll touch on the time trial another time, but I'd say there's a few other people wanting your time, so I'll respect Excellent. that. Thanks, Rob. Thanks a lot. See ya.